The first thing Buddy discovers is that he has the potential to be a star, but it's completely foreign to him because th that whole celebrity culture doesn't exist on his planet. He comes from a repressive planet where everybody is meant to be similar and flattened. And so he starts to discover the power of being a star and also the vicissitudes, the difficulties of, of what comes along with, with celebrity. He realizes, he finds out that the avocado is very, very important to his health. That the avocado contains everything that he needs to exist um, in, uh, you know, or it has something that was on his planet, but he could never find it. He didn't know it here. And so he loves guacamole. So do I. I love guacamole. <laughs> and he has to keep his true identity secret because if the world were to find out that he really is an alien, then his whole purpose of being on Earth, which is to experience life as a human, would be changed. He would be sought after. He would be experimented with. He would be pursued. So he has to keep that secret. And that it's hard, it's a little hard to keep secret when you have seven fingers and suction cups on your feet and your skin is cobalt blue and you have six eyes. And you bleed purple. And three lungs and, and two stomachs. Hungarian. Yeah. And you don't speak Hungarian. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you. He has, oh, he, with his grandmother, um, uh, Grandma Wrinkle, uh, who is uh, 987 years old, he, he you know, he's, um, she has helped him create a, a human uh, skin that he can keep when he's not playing the character for only a little while. He has to rejuvenate himself by soaking. Uh, water is very important. Um, otherwise, it starts from his suction cups and he's now uh, a quarter alien and the rest is human. He makes some friends. How will they accept him? How will they accept him if they know the truth? And uh, so that is a dilemma that I struggled with um, and that I, I would imagine a lot of children struggle with. It's also, it's, it's also a commentary on, on our age of quick celebrity, where people come celebrities not necessarily from talent, just because celebrity is a thing. So he has to kind of wrestle with that in terms of, and our readers get to wrestle with it, what actually makes you a celebrity. And then when you are a celebrity, what that life is like, what you sacrifice in terms of privacy, the strain it can put on friendships. So all of those are really important themes. Meanwhile, it being basically a comedy about an alien living in an alien world. And what could be more alien than the back lot of Hollywood. His best friend is, is a stroller uh, in the guise of Frankenstein. There's a Woody Woodpecker stroller. The, you know, there's an, an overbearing uh, agent manager. A stroller is someone who wears the costume and walks around the back lot and takes pictures with people. The Woody Woodpecker stroller has a big, big problem because the beak <laughs> is very irritating on the inside and scratches his nose at all times. So, uh, so there's a lot of there's a lot of fun, a lot of you know, a lot of the fun of touring a back lot. But one thing that's great is when he's walking around in his alien self on the back lot, he's completely accepted as normal because people assume that that's one heck of a costume, even when his sensory enhancer goes nuts, which it does frequently because when it detects a great aroma or great music, something that involves the senses or skittles. Skittles. It has kind of a life of its own, and so he has to come up with ways to explain why his costume is overreacting. 